All right, folks, what a week. Uh, we got a lot done this week. My buddy Russ came over several times and was able to put in, I don't know, I think he put in six or eight, ten hours, something like that, uh, on the airplane this week. And we got lots done. So we'll start off with everything. So uh, aft deck riveted in place on. Um, this ended up being a little bit more difficult than what it looks like in the instructions, but that's all right. Um, you will notice there's an extra rivet here. And the reason why is because with this rivet, we will, this plate here, we actually installed it and then realized that we installed it upside down. It looks symmetrical, but it wasn't quite symmetrical because you uh, make this piece here, and when you make this piece, you do your own personal spacing on these holes. They're not pre-drilled. And because of that, when you drill this plate, because this plate isn't drilled for you already, so you're drilling this plate to match your holes that you've already drilled in this and so therefore it's not symmetrical it was off by about a sixteenth of an inch so we installed it and then we got ready to install these rivets and we're like wait a second these don't fit so when we drilled out these rivets i wasn't too happy with it so we went ahead and dropped an extra one in there um, i looked there's nothing there that it's gonna you know impede with or anything like that so there's no no worries there um, we also uh, really messed up this rivet and so we ended up uh, using a doubler plate which I think you can probably see it up there. So we used a doubler plate um, and a longer rivet in order to capture the tab and to give it that stability that it needs. So uh, future builders use caution. That goes on one way, not it's not symmetrical. But anyway, uh, the bolts are in, all the drilling's done for the rear deck, um, all the riveting. I think when we left last week, uh, this side was riveted. Um, and since then, uh, we've gotten this side all riveted, what we had left to do on the other side, it's all riveted, and the top is riveted basically to here, let's call it. Um, the top center row is riveted, and the, um, all the, the, what are these, the J channels are all riveted. Uh, this frame doesn't get riveted for quite some time until you put on the other skin that goes here So it's a long time away a long time away before it gets riveted um, So we discovered this week the joys of back riveting which tends to work out a whole lot better and I'll show you guys why so You can see here. Hopefully you can see in this light um, how the flush head will leave these little marks here um, however, when you back rivet Let's see some back riveting um, like here. These are all back riveted, so there's no no circles. Because the way we do end up doing these is we take the bucking bar on this side and we put the rivet gun on the inside and, and smash the head. So it just makes a much nicer head and um, so on. So uh, also for future builders, because uh, I know that there's a couple of you guys who've uh, messaged me at this point that are either getting ready to build or building currently. Um, in the instructions the this is the seat belt tie down to tie the seat belts for the rear seats down and I know there's some guys who are doing inertial reels and stuff like that that don't even use these but you'll notice that this is like one of the last things that you do on the empennage kit and if you're like me you say but wait it's a whole lot easier to get to before the roof gets on well I discovered why it's the last thing on the list this side isn't symmetrical you know this is symmetrical you'll notice that this center bolt here that there is a rivet right behind it right there you can't get that rivet if that bolt is in so you can install these two which and then you'll have to manually but you know old school buck these with a with a bar and using the actual flush head on the outside but you can get that rivet you can get that rivet you can get this rivet you can get this one you just cannot get this one so leave this bolt out until after um you've noticed i've already pulled out this side because we'll be riveting down this side uh, towards the end of the week uh, probably thursday this week i'm guessing uh, i went ahead and pulled out the bolt and because these are considered structural you have to toss out these you can't reuse the uh, lock nuts so um, i actually have an order in with uh, aircraft spruce for another 25 or 50 i think i ordered 25 of these or something like that just to have some on hand because you, you're going to install stuff and take it apart and that's you've got to replace the the nut when you do that so um and just to give you guys an idea we've got a little systems work that has gotten done this week and um 
the static ports that I know that we talked about and I showed you guys, um, they have been plumbed in. Uh, they go up to there, up to the T, and then forward. I installed this Adele clamp. Uh, Justin Toolback, who built one of these several years ago, um, I stole this idea from him. So thanks, Justin, if you by chance are watching this. Um, and then from here, and then the it's currently in a ball of cable here. Um, so you see blankets here. No, Jackie did not kick me out and make me sleep in the airplane. Um, the blankets go into here when I climb into here um, because that chunk of metal that you see sitting there ends up in my side and it's not comfortable. Not to mention I want to kind of protect the J channel uh, so because I'm not the lightest guy in the world and it'll give me some protection for this J channel when I'm lying back here. Um, I've been inside of this thing three different times now um, and I know I at least have eh, probably three or four more times to go. Uh, I'll be back here again this week. Um, I think uh, Russ is planning on coming over on Thursday when he's not flying and I'm not flying. And we'll get the, the rest of this top uh, buttoned down. Um, so also, um, rudder cables. So I did get those run this week. So they're just kind of loosely sitting in here at this point. Future builders, if you can, when you order your wing kit, when you order, or if you get your fuselage, even when you order the empanage kit, go ahead and order these rudder cables. Because I'll tell you what, um, uh, my buddy Tim said, go ahead and install them. I'm glad I did. So I'm hoping I can get this on video appropriately. Um, down in here, those uh, nuts with the Adele clamps that are holding on that plastic sleeve there, those were not easy to do. Um, and at that point in time, the, the aft deck wasn't on when I installed them. So I had a much larger hole to work with. Doing those with the aft deck on is going to be really tough. So go ahead and order them. I, don't, I have no idea how much they cost. Um, I've got my fuselage kit, so that's why I, I had them. I went ahead and installed them. I wrapped up the ends and tapes. That way they're not going to beat up the fuselage or the side back here too much. And uh, yeah. So I thought I'd also show you guys. Um, this is what... A very simple, hey, I'm going to come out here and install just a couple of things. I'm going to work for an hour. And this is what happens. My entire workbench becomes covered in every tool or stuff that you can imagine. So this video was much longer, but brevity is the soul of wit. So until next week, thanks for watching.